Good day everyone, so it has been said that Nilo Bloom teams have been very heavily countered in the current Spiral Abyss. Obviously on the first halves you just have a lot of Dendro resistance, you've got the Chicken and obviously the Consecrated Beasts that are both Hydro and Dendro, so it makes it very very difficult uh, for these Nilo Bloom teams. And obviously here on the second half you can see, well, against Iniquitous Baptist with the Crown Shield we can literally not do anything. Um, of course, here's a little thing that you might not have known. If you wait long enough, his cryo shield actually does expire, so you can take him out. But once again, I would not advise the majority of Nilo players to even attempt this. So what is going on? Well, clearly Hoyo is trying to counter the whole Hyper Bloom Bloom sort of situation, but of course in doing so they kind of kill the diversity in the game. But that is not going to stop us Nilo main, so we are still going to power through, we're still going to get our 9 stars. But can you do it? Can you get past the first stage and that is the Cryo Heralds of a Nilo Bloom team? Well, it's going to be a yes and no answer, and it's going to depend on your account. So here is it. Here it is. If you've got a C2, Nilo, and Nihida, you can do it. And obviously, Kirara is going to be mandatory. You need the shield. It's just painful to do this without Kirara. It's awesome that she's been introduced into the game. So right off the bat, you're going to have to take care of these two little enemies here. And as you'll sort of note, it's generally speaking, the one is easy to take care of, but the other one is a bit more complicated. But in any case, so assuming you've got them out of the way, you now have the enemies. They're just going to jump on you. Um, of course, since they're all grouped up, it's pretty easy to take care of their health. And now we're just going to iframe. So this is one of the things I've talked about in my previous videos. You just iframe the enemy's damage and then you're good to go. So what is the trick here? Well, because you have two cryo enemies, you have more opportunities for your dendro cores to react. And we just saw that dendro does nothing against the cryo shield. It's the same with the hydro. So what is actually going on? How is it possible for my characters here to break these cryo shields even faster than some people? Soma virgin teams. Well, there is a bit of a hidden piece of theory that we're just going to have to talk a bit about. And I'm just going to put up the little um, chart here on the screen, so just bear with me for a second. It's called the shield HP ratio. So effectively, even though we're not taking any of the cryo um, elemental gauge away, we are still doing damage. So effectively, uh, most enemies have a shield to health ratio of 1, and when you apply damage, you do about 20% of your damage against the shield. So effectively, I'm doing 5 times worth of damage against these Cryo Heralds, and that's how I'm seemingly breaking the shields, but what I'm actually doing is I'm just applying so much raw damage that it just sort of breaks down their health. Now, where this obviously fails is if you've got, like, set in normal teams so you can see here I'm running a standard C0 Nilo, um, C0 Nahida and obviously a level 80 Kirara so this is what I think most people would be running. So what this team needs to do is literally reduce their health five times over in terms of reaction damage within the little short window um, of like 40 seconds and unfortunately if you don't have a C2 or higher like Nilo and Nahida this is just not going to be possible. I think um, if you, for those of you that watch Jamie's channel he obviously does like the Nilo speedruns and so on. I'm willing to bet that on his account he might be able to do it barely if he got if he gets like um, a very like fast first run but if you don't have that level of dedication and good artifacts i think for the majority of c0 players it's just it's just not going to be possible. Uh, so yeah, it's not about applying the element, but just the pure amount of raw damage that you can dish out. And if you can dish out it out fast enough, then it's actually pretty easy to take them out. But okay, that's the sort of video that I wanted to make today. Let me know what you think and how your Abyss uh, runs are going. Thanks for watching. Cheers.